Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the Ingram in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for July 14, 2023. This is mostly new arrivals. There's a little bit of a MoFi restock, but this is a huge new arrival week. A lot of it has to do with uh, last week. Some of those titles are in here because they didn't get to me in time to show you guys on video. But there's still an abnormal amount of new arrivals this week, and actually really good stuff as well. A lot of great audiophile uh, releases in here. You know, the stuff uh, I know a lot of you guys are looking for. Uh, there was a couple of big pre-orders that were announced this week, and I'll start there, I guess. The first one is the uh, self-titled Pharaoh Sanders album. David Byrne's label, Luca Bop, is actually doing like a 2LP set of it. I think it's the album remaster, and then there's like a bonus live disc concert on it. Uh, that comes out September 15, 2023. That's going to be relatively popper for, popular for you avant-garde jazz fans, because that's a record that an original cost minimum $1,000, so it's a very uh, expensive record and not really accessible, you know, it's or not really accessible, not really accessible either. That's a difficult one. Okay, so that is actually coming out September 15th. It's on the website for uh, pre-order right now. The big ones, I think, of the week are actually all the difficult to find Tom Waits albums. They're actually doing a reissue, and I think they were all done by Chris Bellman at Bernie Grumman Mastering, but they're actually doing a reissue of Frank's Wild Years, Rain Dogs, and Swordfish Trombone. Those all come out September 1st. Then Black Rider and Bone Machine. Very hard to find, very expensive. Those are coming out October 6th. So all five of those are available right now for pre-order. We're still going strong with the international shipping. If you are just watching for the first time in a couple weeks, we are now shipping almost everywhere in the world and it's actually really reasonable. It's all going via DHL, worldwide expedited, their top tier service. It's like one to three days anywhere in the world. The shipping rates are really reasonable. For the most part, three to four records is probably your average uh, place you want to be to get a real good deal on shipping. It Fees, everything is all inclusive. I know a lot of people are like, well, I don't like DHL because I have fees on the back end. I've emailed about 20 people so far, and nobody's had fees on the back end. Their top tier service, from what I understand, all the fees, everything are paid up front. So when you go onto the website and you click, for instance, this Miles Davis Sketches of Spain, you will see your local import VAT, import taxes, whatever fees you might have associated, it's all on the website. So there are no surprises. You know ahead of time, before you pay, what it's going to cost you. Not only that, it's in local currency. So if you're Canadian or you're from the UK, you just select your currency and all the prices, everything, it's all displayed in pounds, Canadian dollars, you know, wherever you're at. So it's a pretty easy system. And I've noticed so far that people that have bought, maybe 30% of them have rebought. So it's actually, you know, I feel like it's been a success. So yeah, new, new, new shirt. Check it out. This is the winner of the contest. So I did a, a t-shirt contest a while back to where I had people submit designs and I did kind of a, a bracket to where you guys picked the winner and this was the winner that you guys chose. And by you guys, I mean, you know, if you voted in the poll, this was the popular choice. Now I did do another one that I liked that was not the winner uh, and that actually came out months ago. The reason this one was delayed was because... Uh, I had some issues with the t-shirt company I was using and I had to get a new company online. Uh, fantastic shirt though. It is a four color, beautiful, four color, really high quality tees. I always do them on really high quality tees because I wear them all the time and I don't want uh, to be wearing junky t-shirts that destroy themselves, you know, self-imploding t-shirts. So I always get like really nice Bella Canvas or uh, uh, American Apparel. Those are generally the two t-shirt companies that I buy shirts from to have them silk screened. Okay, so let me show you guys some of the... Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. We've got... Uh, we'll start with this Wham! box set. This is a giant box of Wham! singles. So you have... 11 hit singles, newly mastered from the original tapes across 12 seven inch vinyl records. You got a 72 page book, a cassette tape of 12 inch mixes, certificate of authenticity. You get a bunch of stuff. It's in this uh, wham box, custom to the box, you know, to the, to the collection. Uh, it's expensive. 
But uh, yeah, here it is. This is Wham! The Singles, Echoes from the Edge of Heaven. That's, uh, it's cool. It's expensive. There it is. Let me show you guys the SACD, some of which I've never even had before. They're new. Bill Withers, Still Bill, Mobile Fidelity SACD. We've got uh, Grateful Dead. Uh, Chicago. Chicago. Ooh, Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits. I thought this was out of print, but they're bringing stuff back, as you can see. More Dylan. Stevie Ray Vaughan, Couldn't Stay in the Weather, SACD. Santana self-titled. Janis Joplin's Pearl. Ooh, surrealistic pillow. I was bumping this a couple weeks ago in the shop. Miles Davies, Davis, Porgy and Bess. This is number to 3,000, so this is uh, close to being out of print, I'd imagine, once they sell out. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. This is uh, the couch album. The Young Rascals, Groovin, this is number to 2,500, so some of them, you know, that's number to 2,500. They can't make more than 2,500. Something like Nashville Skyline, which was discontinued, but they brought it back. This is theoretically uh, until their license expired. expires. Los Lobos, Kiko, and this is new for us as well, Warren Zevon's Excitable Boy. Ooh, Bob Dylan, Highway 61 Revisited. And the times are a-changing. Bob Dylan. All right, let me show you guys some of the Mobile Fidelity restock. And I'll start off with uh, this one, Miles Davis uh, Sketches of Spain. It was an interesting experience for me unboxing these things because I remember when they were hundreds of dollars a piece. I've in the past sold these for hundreds of dollars a piece. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> they're back in print for a reasonable price. They are fantastic. I don't care what their source is to manufacture these Miles Davis. These Miles Davis titles are almost all definitive. They sound fantastic. But I think this is the big one for the restock this week. Miles Davis, Sketches of Spain, 33 RPM. They're going to do it as a, uh, a one set, but who knows when that's going to come. And, you know, it's quite a bit more money. Let me make some space. Another big one, another title that was hundreds of hundreds of dollars. This is... Uh, Natalie Merchant's Tiger Lily has Carnival and uh, Jealousy. That's the two big hits off of this. Always sell out of it. Never lasts. Matter of fact, I think everybody's sold out on it now. So, yeah, got a re small restock on that, but Tiger Lily. This I've gotten on and off the last couple of weeks, but I've got another restock of it. The self-titled Bob Dylan. Uh, this is in mono. They only made 3,000 of these. We're at 2768. I think we're getting towards the end on this one. Restock of Bill Evans, Undercurrent. Restock of Dire Straits, Communique. Restock of the car is Candio. Restock of Count Basie, Live at the Sands, Before Frank. Restock of KC and the Sunshine Band. I love this record, but you know. That's just me. And Cindy Lopper's True Colors. I think I still have She's So Unusual, but uh, yeah, haven't had True Colors in a while. All right, get these puppies out of the way so I can show you guys the rest. All right, we got Idris Muhammad, Black Rhythm Revolution. This is an amazing record. I highly recommend this. This is part of the Jazz Dispensary series. It's all analog, cut from the original master tape by Kevin Gray. But this whole series kind of focuses on the funkier side of things. So they're typically all funk or like R&B soul jazz titles. But I think out of what we got here this week, I really think this Idris Muhammad is, uh, is the winner. Very difficult to find. $100 plus dollar record if you can find it, but difficult to find. This sounds killer. Uh, I gave this a spin already. Jack DeJanette Sorcery, same series, all analog, cut by Kevin Gray. And Leon Spencer, Where I'm Coming From. Again, all analog, Preston RTI, Stoughton type jacket. They're just fantastic. This has uh, Idris Muhammad on it as well. Okay, brand new. This is Evenings at 
The Village Gate, John Coltrane with Eric Dolphy. Man, there's a lot of stuff to listen to this week. I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be busy. It's going to be a busy jazz Saturday. Okay, we also have two new Verve by Request series. These are the series that is done at, you know, these are done at Third Man. This is Pharaoh Sanders' Black Unity. And Yosef Latif. Psychic Emotus. I feel like it says Psychic Emotus. For the most part, I've been getting good reactions on these. Some of them are not as good as others. Some of them, like the Alice Coltrane, uh, Patad the El Duad, sounds killer. So I haven't listened to either of these yet, so I can't really comment on to the, you know, to the sound quality of them, but uh, here's hoping they're good. We've got Skrillex. Don't get too close. I'm a little befuddled here today, guys, doing this uh, this new arrival video. Half of my air conditioned units in this uh, showroom are out, so I'm dying. It's like it's 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 a little bit uh, it's a little on the warm side here. Now, luckily for me, tomorrow morning, barring any more delays, which there's already been a couple, I've got two new air conditioning units being put on the building. So yeah, that'll be nice. Tom Kiefer, rise. This is on uh, black and clear vinyl. Overkill, WFO. I didn't want you to start seeing me like, you know, sweating by the end of this video. Wondering like, uh, what's going on? Mike doesn't look too healthy. Glavy, I care so much that I don't care at all. All righty. Aerosmith, they're continuing the new Capital-owned Aerosmith reissues. I guess their catalog probably got sold to Capital from Columbia. There is their uh, self-titled album. Remastered from the original source tapes on 180 gram audiophile vinyl. We've got uh, Lauren Spencer Smith, Mirror. We got Brian May in Friends. This is the Starfleet Project, part of the Brian May Gold series, featuring uh, Eddie Van Halen. Let's see. Hmm. Fred Mandel. All new mixes from the original analog multi track recordings. Maximum fidelity, half speed cut on 180 gram black vinyl. All right, we've got Blake Mills, Jelly Road. All right, okay, so this is RM, who's a part of BTS. I'm not really sure. I'm guessing some of you guys know because I've been getting emails. Some of you guys are all about the BTS. BTS is a BTS, BLT, BLT, B BTS, it's BLT, BLT, BLT. Ooh, that sounds good, actually, I'm kind of hungry. Okay, RM of BTS. This is Indigo. Let me tell you about this so you guys don't get a little freaked out when it arrives to your house. This is a record that is stored in this absolutely wafer thin, almost designed to self implode cardboard. So none of these are perfect. This is the thinnest of thin cardboard that this outer box is made out of. So just keep that in mind. They all got these little tiny marks, you know, that's just what it is. But it is a pretty cool packaging. You know, you're getting essentially a box set for 50 bucks. I want to say, you know, it's, I don't even know what's in this. It looks like three or four, you know, feels like three or four records. Documentation of my youth in the moment of independent phase. 10 blues included. Okay. There it is, BTM, no, BLT, B BTS, 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 BTS. Okay, Jackson Brown, late for the sky. Oh, it's so hot in here, I'm dying. Jackson Brown, running on empty. We've got Star Effer, Miracle Mile. 
not the Rolling Stones song, but the band. This is a 2LP on orange and pink vinyl with a red splatter. I think coincidentally, two of my ACs went out, which is this how it happens, don't you? Know, it's not when they're working their hardest, that's when they blow up. And when they're working the hardest, I think it was like 117, 18, 19 out there today. You know, it was on the warm side. It was on the toasty side. Turnstile, glow on. This is kind of cool. It has this, uh, it's a normal jacket, but it has this slip over cover. We've got Div, Deceiver. We've got Div, Oshin. Comes in this like printed bag type. Pressed on blue marbled vinyl, limited to 5,000 copies. 10 year anniversary, 2LP expanded edition of their debut album, Oshin. Okay, really cool packaging. Man, I wish other. It's always like the metal and like the indie music where they do all this really cool stuff. Put that back together. Okay. Although I'm a big fan of this record, seen them in concert twice. Very cool show. I highly recommend it. Even if you're not a fan of their music, it's a hell of a light show. Pyrotechnics everywhere. That is uh, Rammstein. This is... Uh, Zen Schutt. It's the album that in the United States was their big album with Du Hast on it. That's all you need to know. This is a deluxe edition version. Has the 2023 remix and uh, photographs. Similar to the BLT, it actually has a slip type cover as well. And it is this foil slip cover and then there's actually a gatefold inside. I grabbed one of these myself. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. Not a record that I actually have on vinyl. It came out back in the day originally on vinyl, but it's not cheap and I'm assuming it's not fantastic sounding, but I have high hopes for that. Some more div. Is the is are. You know, between the stuff I mispronounce and the stuff that sounds mispronounced on the, uh, the jacket, I'll tell you, that's, that's the name of it though. Is the is are is the name of this record. This is double LP with two 12 page, 12 by 12 lyric slash art booklets. Includes a download card of is, is the is are. Continuing, uh, they're doing a lot of these, uh, pretty much the whole uh, Decca catalog of uh, John Mayles blues band. John Mayle and the blues breakers. The 16th trip, part of the Brown Acid series. This is the 16th disc in the series. This came at the tail end of last week. That is PJ Harvey's newest album, I Inside the Old Year Dying. I Inside the Old Year Dying. Yeah, that's the name of the record. Oh, it's actually kind of cool. It is a knockoff of the White Album with a, a stick, but it kind of has that embossed PJ Harvey. That's a pretty cool cover. I like some of her stuff. I'll probably give this a listen. This, I thought I wasn't going to be able to get anymore because I think they only did 10,000 of these. This is number 1169. They're all numbered. This is Fish's Farmhouse. This is limited edition, pressed, let me see, mastered, at, mastered for vinyl by Bernie Grunman Mastering. I'm assuming it's probably Chris Bellman. It's the only two there, right? Bernie Grumman and Chris Bellman. Maybe there's a third guy there. I don't know. Individual foil stamp numbered. Not really a fish fan. I did see Trey Anastasio in the 90s. It was a really good show. But he pretty much did Jimi Hendrix stuff. But, I mean, what's wrong with that? I mean, it was good. It was a good show. Uh, let's see. Wendell Harrison. This is on P-Vine. This is, uh, if you guys like the out there stuff, Wendell Harrison's Tribe stuff is, yeah. Reawakening on P-Vine. Not that you'll ever find one of these in person. I've never seen this record in person before. This is a difficult one. Leon Thomas, 
is on this as well. Very cool. I actually I have uh, Dreams uh, of a Love Supreme. I've got an original of that, but this I've never even seen one of these in person. Is that on Tribe? Yeah, that's a Tribe issue. God, everything on Tribe is like impossible to find. All right, the Kinks. They're doing a big uh, reissue campaign of kind of that early 70s era kink stuff. This is Preservation Act 2. Uh, let's see. Part of the Kinks 60. Ooh, Analog Mastering for Vinyl by Kevin Gray. Oh, man, I'm going to have to buy so many records this week. I love it. Analog Mastering for Vinyl by Kevin Gray at Coherent Audio. If you guys... Our Kinks fan, or you listen to any of the analog cuts that Kevin Gray's done, uh, they've been fantastic. I probably didn't order enough of these, so get a restock notification in because I'm going to order more as soon as I'm done filming this video. But uh, yeah, there's more of those in there. We'll check out the hype on the rest of them. Allison Goldfrapp, limited edition purple vinyl. Linda Lunch. This is limited to 500 copies on red vinyl. When I bought that big DJ collection, I actually like listened to a lot of the stuff that I wasn't familiar with in the collection. This was one of those records that I listened to. I really enjoyed it. I kept it. Only listened to it the one time. But I'll say this, out of about every 30 records I listened to, I only kept about one. And this was one of them. I enjoyed it. There is, I feel like, I guess not. It was a good record though. Mr. Uh, Steve Luthier. This is his newest album, Bridges, mastered by John Greenham. I just saw a, a big, uh, big Rick Beato interview with him, which was kind of cool. I found the coolest parts when he was talking about uh, recording Thriller. It was a fun interview to listen to, especially the Thriller, Michael Jackson Thriller related, uh, Thriller related clips. This is Jimi Hendrix Experience. Are you Experience? This is just a restock. On a side note, this is all analog. Cut by Bernie? No, no, this was done by George Marino. All analog, cut by George Marino. It's gone up in price. It used to be $19.99, but uh, now it's $20.99, which is all analog, cut by George Marino, manufactured at QRP. Not bad, right? Got a restock of the 50th anniversary of Maggot Brain's excuse me, Hub Funkadelic's Maggot Brain. This includes the new remastered from new high-res analog transfers, whatever the hell that means, high-res analog transfers, as opposed to low-res analog transfers, I guess, I don't know. But that includes a, a bonus 12-inch with the uh, Maggot Brain 12-inch with uh, 2017 reworked by the Detroiters remix of a 1971 live performance. I uh, have showed this many times. It always sells out and I never grab it. Love this record. I listen to it in the shop all the time. It's one of the few records that I've never put on, I've ever put on and everybody just didn't love it. Fantastic. Another big restock, Depeche Mode's Music for the Masses. I don't think I've had this in like three years. It's been a long, long time. And the Depeche Mode stuff is still pretty reasonable in price. Got Violator a couple of weeks ago. Joe Smithereens. This is the exclusive clear edition version. And I'm assuming this is the uh, black version. Got a, a bunch of new uh, reissues by Music on Vinyl. This is a 2LP gatefold of uh, Golden Earrings Moontan. Newly remastered and expanded 2LP edition from the first generation master tapes. This is featuring three previously unreleased mixes and four bonus tracks includes an eight-page booklet. There you go. Music on vinyl. This is a standard black pressing. Ooh, heat wave expanded. Central heating. <laughs> I got into an argument once a couple of years ago. This came on in a grocery store. And two people that were going at it, like, who's saying this? I'm like, it's heat wave. It's no, it's not heat wave. I'm like, it's heat wave. It's heat wave. They're like, no, no, no. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, all right. So every time I see this, I laugh. Reminds me of the conversation between me, the guy in the checkout lane, and the cashier. 
Let's see, featuring three bonus tracks, including a 12-inch disco version of the singles, The Groove Line, that's what they were playing, and Mind Blowing Decisions. Yeah, this is another Music on Vinyl 2 LP set. Numbered to 750, this is 167. Warrant, Dog Eat Dog. Roy Orbison, Laminar Flow. This is limited to 750 individually numbered copies on a Bloody Mary colored vinyl. This is number 717. I absolutely love Roy. He has one of the greatest voices of all time, but he just wasn't cool. I just, I don't know what to say besides that. He tried, but uh, he just wasn't. I, I, I say this absolutely adoring Roy Orbison. His voice, if you get any of those ORG or uh, Analog Productions did one, ORG records, they are absolutely captivating. They're fantastic. Mobile Fidelity did the greatest hits. That one was fantastic. But his voice on like a beautiful all analog vinyl record is <laughs> magical. Let's see. Vangelis Direct, 35th Anniversary Edition of Direct. Okay, 1,500 individually numbered copies on translucent blue colored vinyl. This is 651. Marshall Crenshaw's self-titled number to 750 individual. Wording on this is limited edition of 750 individually numbered copies on turquoise colored vinyl. This is 543. Juicy Lucy, self-titled, 750 copies on yellow vinyl. Bootsy Collins, The One Giveth, limited to 1,000 copies on gold-colored vinyl. Love Bootsy Collins. Bootsy Collins is the man. Okay. Delight. This is... This is a reissue. I know I've had this before. Got their big hit on it. Groove is in the heart. Foreigner's Farewell. This is the very best of Foreigner. They're only doing 5,000 of these. So it is a unique limited edition according to the hype here. And they're charging you accordingly. And they made 5,000 of these. But it does have all their hits. Like, you know, you would expect your greatest hits to have. So there you go. Joni Mitchell. They're doing a lot of the uh, Joni Mitchells. I'm assuming these are breakouts from the box set if you didn't get the box set, but we've got remastered by Bernie Grunman under the supervision of Joni Mitchell. So, uh, yeah. Song to a Seagull. <coughs> Jackie Wilson, Higher and Higher. This is an ORG reissue, mastered from the original tapes by Dennis Drake at the Music Lab. Hiroshi Yoshimura. Hiroshi Yoshimura. Hiroshi Yoshimura. Yeah, we're going to go with that. This is a Light in the Attic reissue. Ooh, another one of the Kinks reissues. Yeah, so we've got Soap Opera. This is... It says absolutely nothing about the mastering on the hype. They felt it necessary to tell you that it's heavyweight black vinyl. whoop did he do And then on the back, let's see. All analog master or analog mastering for vinyl by Kevin Gray, Coherent Audio. Uh, guys, that goes on the hype sticker here, right here. If anybody's watching from BMG, hype sticker. I like the fact that it's on the back, but it's on the back, which is good because the hype sticker goes away, but it's on the back, like buried in this text. Hype sticker on the back. That'd be the way to do this. Free advice, no charge. School. Boys in Disgrace. And let's go to the back, and it's in a different spot on every record. Analog Mastering. There you go, Kevin Gray. I'm excited about these. We've got Clouds, another Joni Mitchell uh, reissue. I, again, I think this is the Bernie Grunman Mastered box 
uh, just being sold single. I already showed that. What is this? Donna Summer, another place in time. Let's see, Half Speed Master Edition. We've got the London Suede. The Kinks, Preservation Act 1. Let's see. Yep, analog mastering for vinyl. I'm glad they did it. Very underrated. All, all the Kevin Gray, they don't move like you would think they should. And that mono box, when it was around 199 bucks, almost nobody bought it. It was a tough sell. Portugal the Man, Evil Friends. Purvis? Purvis, yeah, Evergreen. Kind of a twisted cover. Holding the uh, seaweed head, seaweed head there. Tommy Boland's uh, Whirlwind. This is on double purple vinyl. Masego, Lady, Lady. We got another row here, guys, so uh, stay tuned. We're still going. Some more mofis there that I should have showed you the first go around. Eva Max, Heaven and Hell. Dave Mason's Alone Together uh, Friday Music. This is on clear gold vinyl. I wonder if that kind of uh, imitates the original uh, marble vinyl. One of those early records to actually use uh, marble vinyl. Don Tolliver, Lovesick. Includes features from Justin Bieber, Travis Scott, Gorilla, Lil, Lil, Lil Dirk, and Wizkid. Fairport Convention. Unhalf Bricking. We've got Atheist, Peace of Time. All right, let me show you guys. We've got a couple of uh, one-step restocks. Eagles, one of these nights. There goes the Ryman Paul Simon. And the Crosby, Stills, and Nash couch album. Get these out of the way. All right. The Dog Pound. Callie is active. This is the Indie Store exclusive blue vinyl. Indie Store exclusive. I'm guessing this is, I don't know if the vinyl version is the, I don't know if the disc itself is an indie exclusive or just the color. Sometimes they do both. That kind of looks like the RSD Essential sticker to where they are exclusive to, you know, the vinyl record itself is exclusive to independent record stores. But the way that's worded, I'm guessing just the blue vinyl might be the exclusive part. Cavalera. No clue what that says. It's in, uh, it's in doom metal, so I can't, uh, can't read it. Know what I mean? So, yeah, there you go. And I'm guessing this is the same thing, but it's Morbid Visions. That I could read. This is the red, black, and white spider vinyl variant for 21. They did 2,125 of these. And this is the orange swirl vinyl, 2,125 of those. All right, some more Fairport Convention. What we did on our holiday. Island reissue and the self-titled Fairport Convention. We've got Bruce Cockburn. Oh Sun, Oh Moon. Includes four never-before-released vinyl tracks from the Rarities album. Charlie XCX. This is Pop. Great White. This is Stage. Double Red Vinyl. Stage 1 recorded live at the House of Blues. And Stage 2 recorded live at the Celebrity Theater. I thought that was here. 
Celebrity Theater in Anaheim, California. We have a celebrity theater here. One of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite venues because it's small and the, it's in the round. The stage rotates. Phil Collins, no jacket required. About time they get these Phil Collins records back in print. I used to laugh at. Ten years ago, somebody bringing a record collection, you didn't want to see Phil Collins records. They were dollar records. They sat in the bin. Nobody ever bought them. Now, they're like $20 albums, and they fly out of here the minute you put them out on the shelf, you know? NXS Kick. That was uh, long overdue for a repressing. We've got Faye Webster, the Atlanta Millionaires Club. And Faye Webster, I know I'm funny. Ha ha. Oh, she's got her little ha ha stickers. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay. We've got uh, the Halo Effect, limited edition to 1600. Days of the Lost. Holy cow, it's hot. I'm dying. I'm dying. Let's see. Omar Apollo, Ivory. I got four air conditionings in this room. You need a lot of AC in Arizona. And half of them went out. And half of those units, so two of them went out. And uh, the big one went out. So it's not like 110 in here, but it's in the very uncomfortable 80s. Omar Apollo. We've got... What? Biba Doobie. Biba Doobie. Bitopia. Biba Doobie. Biba Doobie here, guys. Biba, Biba Doobie. Bitopia. Bitopia. Biba Doobie. Biba Doobie. The game. Indie exclusive white vinyl. Overkill. I hear black. The classic album, Half Speed Mastered, impressed on orange marbled vinyl. Sun Ra and the orchestra, Jazz and Silhouette, the expanded edition. Nice. Let's see. Includes the complete contemporary instance on Pleasure LP, rare stereo mixes, and bonus tracks. Cosmic Myth Records. We've got Beach Fossils. Bunny. DOA War on 45. I'm pretty sure this is sold out, but maybe it's not. This is uh, Macho Man Randy Savage. This is the record store day edition that came out a couple of months. They decided to repress it. This was like a $200 record, and people were paying 200 bucks for this. Uh, yeah, but they decided to uh, make some more. So here it is. Macho Man, Randy Savage, Be a Man. Oh, yeah. There you go. We've got Graveyard. This is Heising, Heising Blues. This is a new variant. Let's see, Strictly Limited. This is yellow vinyl to 1100 Taylor Swift. Probably should have started with the T-Swift. T-Swift sells lots of records. Sells lots of records here at the in-group. It's fantastic. I don't listen to Taylor Swift, but she might be one of my favorite artists. She's definitely my favorite artist I don't listen to. Taylor Swift's version of Speak Now. Three LPs on Orchard Marble Vinyl. So the Orchard Marble Vinyl is the indie store exclusive, right? Then you have... I think this was her website exclusive. So she'll do that. She'll sell these titles on her website and then send them off to the indie stores. This is the Violet Marbled Vinyl. And I don't even know if you can get this on her website anymore, but I got it here. What do we got here? Local natives, time will, time will wait for no one. We've got Pussifer's Don't Shoot the Messenger EP on Opaque Gold of Vinyl. Shh. 
Sean Paul, Duddy Rock. We've got Onyx, Blood on the X. This is the red, white, splatter vinyl variant. Ooh, Art Pepper. This is Art Pepper, so in love. This is from Omnivore. Omnivore out of California, real nice guys over there. Let's see, this was uh, mastered by Jeff Powell at Takeout Vinyl. Always dug this cover, fantastic cover. Part of that, uh, you know, the 80s Art Pepper stuff that you don't really actually see very often. From Music on Vinyl, we got Currency Presents Stoned Immaculate. This is limited edition of 2,000 copies on gold colored vinyl. I feel like I showed this, but maybe not. And the last of this very long, very hot new arrival video, we've got Cher. It's a man's world. What the hell is this? Cher's timeless 1995 album for the first time on vinyl. Is this the Timeless Cher album? I mean, I listen to some Cher, but I never really thought of this as the Timeless album, but I could be wrong. I believe came after this. I mean, believe, I mean, that kind of changed music forever with that auto-tuning, right? But I don't know about the this album. I think this was the album before Believe. But yeah, It's a Man's World. It is a box set. It is reasonably priced. Box sets now for under 100 bucks. Not bad. Four LPs. Pressed on red, blue, green, and yellow vinyl. Includes two LPs of rare remixes and a numbered lithograph. There you go, guys. That is it for this week's new arrival video. Check us out at theingroove.com. Until next time. Whew. Oh, my God. I need a nice tea.